dynamic effort lower was on the schedule for today. I was pretty excited about it because, like I had said earlier this week, uh, I will be doing uh, my dynamic effort lower bar on my back, bar on my hand for the first time in almost two months. I think I said two months last time. And two months might have been an exaggeration. Almost two months, maybe like six or seven weeks. Either way, regardless. Um, I also started to change my warm-up a little bit on lower as well. Uh, generally, my warm-up on anything lower would probably be about 45 minutes of stretching and stretching and foam rolling and I got to the point where it would just like suck the motivation out of me it just was so boring and just it took so long like for I, I'd have to get to the gym 45 minutes early just to stretch to be able to start and I figured now's a good time to start maybe experimenting with something different so I tried to actively I'm trying to actively warm up as opposed to stretch and foam roll. Uh, currently, my warm up right now is I'll do around 100 reps on leg extension, about 100 reps on a lying uh, hammy curl, and about 100 reps on the hip abductor. Uh, going out, yeah, abductor, about 100 reps on those. And then I still also do the, uh, the voodoo band, the flossing band wrapped around. Uh, the midpoint of my quad and going through active squatting with that I still do that and I feel like I can get all that done in about a half hour and it doesn't seem to like suck the motivation or just like suck the energy out of me like all the, the stretching and stuff did uh, and it feels like it gets me to about the same place um, and I kind of like it uh, the only downside of it is, is I can't do that on meet day I can't do that in competition um, and I'm not, um, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say that stretching is bad before exercise, uh, foam rolling is bad. You know, I'm not going to get on a soapbox about that because I don't believe it. Some people think it's the worst thing in the world to do. Whatever. It's their opinion. Uh, my sole purpose in, in getting away from that was just that it took so long and it just like mentally bored me before I even got to the lift. So I got to the lift and I had to find a way to re, like, reignite myself and after a while after a while this gets old and I have time now to try something new so I'm trying it and I kind of like it uh, it gets me to the same place um, in about 15 minutes less time that said um, both my squats and my deadlifts went fairly good I would say um, it's the weight feels heavier than it needs to um, I'm actually feeling really strong right now uh, in my legs and my lower, but the fact that I'm going so slow and trying to focus so hard on bracing a new way, and also I'm scared to be explosive as well. So the fact that I'm going a little bit slower and a little more focused on bracing specifically, the weight just kind of feels heavier than it needs to be. Like if I was at my original tempo, uh, descending the same, exploding the same, it wouldn't even be, it'd be wouldn't even be an issue. So it felt kind of heavy-ish today because of that. Not because of Chank, just because I was going slow and focusing. And that is something that um, the bracing aspect of it is something that um, I would like to speak about with, uh, with uh, Shane, actually. Uh, I was talking with Shane and you know, his, he's got his frustrations like any other person does who's had their business shut down. And I was like, you know, you get this free time. Like, why don't you do a podcast? Like, I know so many people would, would watch your podcast. And he was like, well, why don't we just do one together? And I was like, okay. And he was like, think of stuff to talk about. And I was like, I don't know what to talk about. Like, I, I just want to listen to you talk about shit. So I've come up with a few things. Um, one of them being uh, this new way to brace that my, my chiropractor is trying to get me to embrace. Um... Like I had said in a previous video, I was always brought up to make my my core, my stomach, you know, as big, as big as possible, as wide as possible. You know, the biggest, strongest, widest base, the stronger you're going to be. Um, he thinks that I need to start bringing my base in and down and just making every everything as secure around, you know, the spine as I can. Like bring in and down and just really suck it in around that around that spine and just protect it 
It feels weird. I, I don't know how I feel about it yet. Uh, it's definitely really hard to do that on, on deadlifts, I found. Deadlifts, uh, it's really hard to do that. Uh, squats, I can accomplish it um, with lighter weights. Uh, I, I guess I don't know how it's going to happen when I get really heavy because I visibly I take a breath, breath in and up and then brace down. Um, that's kind of easy with three, 400 pounds, but when you get like 1,100 pounds on your back, how easy is that going to be? So that's one thing that I would like to talk to him about, get his opinion on. Um, like, I, like, I, like I said before in a previous video, it's hard. Like, who do I listen to? Do I listen to somebody who's in the industry, uh, like Shane, who has coached people to be world record holders, or people like Louis Simmons, who was, was a world record holder, or like Dave Tate, who teach you to just make a big a base as possible. Uh, not even just not just in the front of your belt, but the sides and the back too, just as big a base as possible. Or a medical professional who says that I need to bring it in and brace around my spine and try to event, uh, try to prevent that um, arching of my lower back. So I think that'd be a really cool thing to talk about because I'm in one of those positions now where I could listen to my chiropractor and completely cure this problem you know, like forever, or I could not listen to him and go back to my old way and go back to the same way of having lots of progress and then get hurt. Lots of progress and get hurt. So who knows? Um, as of right now, I am staying with the plan of trying to learn this new way to brace. But I think uh, if anybody else out there, you know, is interested as well, that would be if that would be a good topic for me and Shane to talk about. Um, another talk. Another topic I wanted to speak with Shane uh, about as well is I feel like people aren't concerned with technique as much as they used to. Um, uh, I'm not saying that everybody's like that. I just feel like in general, uh, technique is not an important priority as it, as it once was. Um, and that's something that me and him would get into in more in depth. But those are two of the topics that... Um, I would like to speak to him about I feel like it'd be a great conversation and obviously as well if anybody has any other suggestions on stuff that me and Shane could talk about absolutely uh, post in the comments some cool topic for me and Shane to talk about uh, I don't know when this will happen um, uh, my schedule is pretty busy with work right now so for us to tie up together it might take a week or two before we can actually set down a time and um, have enough topics to talk about and stuff like that so that was dynamic effort lower, um, ecstatic, happy, thrilled that I was able to do it bar on back, bar in hand, um, and then just slowly take it up, you know, speed days go in three week waves, so I'll just do the same setup next week, add 5%, do the same setup the week after, add 5%, and uh, we'll just kind of go from there.